So practice 4.10 questions number 1. Given that log base 7 of 4 is equal to 0 0.712 and log base 7 of 5 equal to 0 0.827. So evaluate each of the followings. So always refer to the product law, divisions law, power law and the information that I have in the yellow box here. Uh, it's going to help us to solve for the questions A, B, C, D. So questions A, log best 7 of 1 and 1 over 4. So first, I'm going to change this mixed number into improper fractions. It's going to be 5 over 4. So now, use the division law. We, going, we can write this as log best 7 of 5 minus log best 7 of 4. So now, using the value given in the questions here, so here is going to be 0 0.827 minus 0 0.712. So the answer is going to be 0 0.115. Now, questions B. The 28, we can write it as the multiples of 7 times 4. So here now, using the product law, I can write this as log best 7 of 7 plus log best 7 of 4. Now log best 7 of 7 is going to equal to 1. And here the value is going to be 0 0.712. Therefore, the answer is 1.712. Now question C, log best 7 of 100. So 100... We can write it as 4 times 25. Now, using the product law, I can write this as log best 7 of 4 plus log best 7 of 25. So, log best 7 of 4 is 0 0.712. Now, this 25, I can write it as 5 times 5, which is 5 squared. Next, using the power law. I can write this as 2 times the log best 7 of 5. So this is the same as 2 times 0 0.827. Solve this and you're going to get the answer 2.366. Questions D. Log best 7 of 0 0.25. So we can change the decimal 0 0.25 into fractions. It's going to be 1 over 4. Now using the division law, this is going to be log best 7 of 1 minus log best 7 of 4. So now look at the last one here. Log best A of 1 will give you the answer of 0. So log best 7 of 1, this will give you the answer of 0 as well. So here is 0 0.712. So here, after z minus it, you're going to get negative 0 0.712. Questions number two, evaluate each of the following without using a calculator. A, log base 3 of 21 plus log base 3 of 18 minus log base 3 of 14. So all the log here is in the same base. So here for the first part, so refer to the product law. I can combine this as log base 3 of 21 times 18. Now, when you minus the log of the same base, then refer to division's law. So this one, I can write this as log base 3 of 21 plus 18 divided by 14. So now, I can simplify this. So using number 7, this 21 divided by 7, you will get the answer of 3. 14 divided by 7 is 2. Now using the number 2, this 18 divided by 2, I will get 9. And then this 2 divided by 2, you will get 1. So here, 3 times 9, you're going to get 27. Now this 27, we can convert it as 3 to the power of 3. Now refer to the power law. I can write this as 3 times log base 3 of 3. 
Here will give you the answer of 1. Therefore, 3 times 1 will give you the answer of 3. Questions B. 2 log best 4 of 2 minus 1 over 2 log best 4 of 9 plus log best 4 of 12. So all the log here is in the same base. So first, using the product law, I'm going to move this number 2 and 1 over 2 to the front and it will become the power. Therefore, you're going to have log best 4 of 2 to the power of 2 minus log best 4 of 9 to the power of 1 over 2 and then plus log best 4 of 12. So here you're going to have log best 4 of 4 minus log best 4 of... So 9 to the power of 1 over 2 is, is actually the square root of 9 which will give you the answer of 3. So from here, you actually have two options to continue. So the first one is, from here, we can use the division law. So I can write this as log best 4 of 4 over 3. So next, using the product law as this is uh, additions here. So okay, now I can write this as log best 4 of 4 over 3 times 12. So here I can simplify, divide this using number 3. So here we get 4. So here is 4 times 4. So I can write it as 4 square. Now using the power law, I can move the 2 to the front. So it's going to be 2 times log best 4 of 4. So we know that log best 4 of 4 is equal to 1. So 2 times 1 will give you the answer of 2. Another option will be from here. You can convert straight away the log best 4 of 4 into 1. So it's going to be 1 minus log best 4 of 3 plus. So the log best 4 of 12. So the 12 here, I can write it as the multiplications of 3 times 4. So here using the product law, I can write this as four, log base 4 of 3 plus log base 4 of 4. So here the negative log base 4 of 3 plus log base 4 of 3, this will be cancer. So the log base 4 of 4 is equal to 1. Therefore, it's going to be 1 plus 1. Therefore, it will be equal to 2 as well. Question C. Log base 2 of 7 plus log base 2 of 12 minus log base 2 of 21. So, all of the logs is in the same base. So, for the first part here, refer to the product law. Then I can write it as log base 2 of 7 times 12. So now, refer to the division law as this is a minus. So I can combine this as log base 2 of 7 times 12 divided by 21. So now I can simplify this using number 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1 and 21 divided by 7 is 3. So next, we can continue simplify divide by number 3. So this 12 here, you will get 4. So here, you're going to have log base 2 of 1 times 4, which is 4. This number 4, we actually can convert as, as 2 square. So now, using the power law, move the number 2 to the front. So log base 2 of 2 here will give you the answer of 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. Self so practice 4.11, questions number 1. Write the following expressions as single logarithms. Questions A. So the log here are in the same base, which is number 2. So refer to the product law. I can combine this as log base 2 of x times y squared. Questions B. Log base B of x minus 3 times log base b of y. So using the power law, I'm going to move the 3 to the front here, then it's going to be the power. 
Now, using the division law, so I can write this as log base b of x divided by y cube. Question C. Both log are in the same base. So first, move this 3 to the front. So it's going to be log base 2 of x plus log base 2 of y to the power of 3. So now, refer to the product law. I can combine them as log base 2 of x times y to the power of 3. Questions D. So first, I'm going to move this 1 over 2 to the front and then this 3 to the front using the power law. So here I'm going to have log base 4 of x to, to the power of 1 over 2. Now here I have a number of 2. So to write this as a single log, I'm going to convert this number 2 into the log of base 4 as well. So first, I'm going to write log base 4 of 4. So log base 4 of 4 will give you the answer of 1. Now I'm going to add in a number 2 at the front. So when 2 times 1 will get, give you the answer of 2. So now using the power law, move the number 2 to the front. So you are going to get log base 4 of 4 to the power of 2. So this is equal to number 2. Then minus log base 4 of y to the power of 3. So for the first part here, you can refer to the product law. So we can combine them together as log base 4 of x to the power of 1 over 2 times 4 square is 16. So now, refer to the division's law as now this is the subtractions. So here I can combine them as log base 4 of bracket. So here I'm going to rearrange this. So this is going to be 16x1 over 2 divide by y to the power of 3. And we are not able to simplify it. So that will be the single logarithms that we're going to get. So question E, same best. So first, we're going to move this number 2 using the power law. So log base 3 of m to the power of 4 plus log base 3 of n to the power of 2 minus log base 3 to the uh, of m. So the first part is a plus. So using the product law. So this is going to be log base 3 of m to the power of 4 times n to the power of 2. Now, using the division law. So I can combine them as m to the power of 4 and power of 2 divided by m. So here, the m here, we can simplify this. So this one is 4 minus 1. So here the m will become power of 3. So the final answer is going to be log base 3 of m to the power of 3 and to the power of 2. Questions number 2. Given log base 2 of 3 is equal to p, and log base 2 of 5 is equal to q, express each of the following in terms of p and q. So for these questions, all of this is in log base 2. So in order for us to write this in terms of p and q, we need to convert this number 10, 45 and 15. Uh, we need to write it in a multiplications which contain number 3 and 5. So for questions a. The number 10, we can write it as the number of multiplications of 2 times 5. Now, using the product law, I can write this as log base 2 of 2 plus log base 2 of 5. Now, log base 2 of 2 is equal to 1. And log base 2 of 5 is equal to Q. Therefore, we already expressed 
this log base 2 of 10 in terms of P and Q. Uh, questions B, log base 2 of 45. So 45, we can write it as the multiplication of 9 times 5. So now using the product law, this will be log base 2 of 9 plus log base 2 of 5. 9, we can write it as 3 to the power of 2. Log base 2 of 5, which is Q. So we're going to replace it straight away. So now, using the power law, move this number 2 to the front. So it's going to be 2 times log base 2 of 3 plus Q. So here is going to be 2 times log base 2 of 3 is equal to P. So the answer is 2P plus Q. So question C, log base 2 of square root of 15. So first, this square root, we can write it in index form, which is the power of 1 over 2. So next, using the power law, move this 1 over 2 to the front. And this 15, we can write it as 3 times 5. So now, using the product law, this is log base 2 of 3 plus log base 2 of 5. Log base 2 of 3 is P and log base 2 of 5 is Q. Expand this, then you're going to get 1 over 2P plus 1 over 2Q.